favorite book called The Collins Creatures. Today I'm at Chuck Tornetta's Tortuga Ranch, and today I am talking about Blanding's Turtles. The scientific name of the Blanding's Turtle is Emidoidea blandingii. They are from the Midwest, mostly around big bodies of water like the Great Lakes, and there are some smaller populations in the Northeast Coast. They are a medium-sized turtle. Their shell is more domed than other species of aquatic turtles. Their carapace is typically dark with light spots, and their belly is yellow and black. And their neck on the bottom is yellow and the top is dark, and the contrast between the dark top and the light bottom give them kind of a dopey look on their face. They're often called semi-box turtles because their plastron, which is hinged, doesn't close as tightly as that of a box turtle. They are hard to find as they are endangered, but where they are present, they can often be seen basking on logs and other aquatic protrusions. They are considered a negligibly senescent species as they show no real signs of age-related decline in health or appearance as they age. In the wild, they have a varied diet from plants and berries as well as invertebrates and carrion. They are also capable of swimming after and catching fish. They are endangered because of habitat loss, poaching, roadkill, and they're slow at reproducing, and they're protected in the wild, and they're illegal to keep in many states. If you see them in the wild, it is best to just leave them alone and observe from afar, as to not inadvertently break any laws or put an endangered species at risk. I am filming at Chuck Tornetta's Tortuga Ranch, that is a private facility that is licensed to keep these turtles. Since people are allowed to keep them, and Chuck is licensed to keep them, let's talk about their captive care. Optimally, they are best kept indoors only as babies, and they will require an appropriately sized tank, the appropriate lighting of heat and UV. As adults, they can be kept outside in a pond, and because they are cold hardy, they can be kept out here all year round as long as they are able to hibernate if it gets cold where you live. If you'd like to know more about Chuck's setup, refer to my tour of the Tortuga Ranch. As babies, they will only eat fish. Chuck recommends that when you are first feeding them to give them frozen smelt that you will chop up and then you will slowly introduce pellets along with the fish and then once they start eating the pellets you can give them only pellets. As adults they will eat the pelletized diet but they will also eat whatever else is living in the pond like the fish that are swimming in here besides me. And wild caught Blanding's turtles will often only eat fish. So if you are looking to buy one and the seller says that it only eats fish, there is a high chance that it was a wild caught individual. So in summary, the Blanding's turtle is a very unique and awesome looking turtle that is endangered and it's a shame as they are really awesome. So that is my video on the Blanding Turtle. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot. I certainly learned a lot while researching for this video. I have to thank Chuck Tornetta for allowing me to use his Blanding Turtles on his Tortuga Ranch. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you next time on Collins Creatures.